Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Lolex. Today, we'll be taking a look at part A of the reading section of an OET sample test. We will be discussing the questions and providing the answers along with an explanation. If at any point you feel the need to read the text, you can pause the video to do so. Let's get started. At the very beginning, we're provided with a few instructions. Let's read through them. Part A, time 15 minutes. Look at the four texts, A to D in the separate text booklet. For each question one to 20, look through the texts, A to D to find the relevant information. Write your answers on the spaces provided in this question paper. Answer all the questions within the 15 minute time limit. Since we have been instructed that there are only 15 minutes to complete the test, it is important for us not to waste time and to read the provided text completely at the beginning. The best thing to do is to skim or speed read through the provided information and pick out or find keywords. Let's get started. Let's see what the provided keywords are in this text. Let's take a look at the next one. Let's look at text C. Now, text D. Now let's look at the questions. For each of the questions, one to seven, decide which text A, B, C, or D the information comes from. You may use any letter more than once. First question is, endovascular management is for DVT. So the keyword in the question itself is endovascular management. Which text is that from? Endovascular management can be found in text B. So 
in for the answer we give b now the second question outflow of venous blood causing extreme swelling extreme swelling is a keyword in question two and the answer to question two can be found in text b Question three, the person receiving anticoagulants should avoid alcohol. The key word in this question is avoid alcohol. In the given text, the words avoid alcohol are given in text C. So the answer to question number three is C. Question number four, deep vein thrombosis is asymptomatic sometimes. The keyword here is asymptomatic. The answer to that comes in text A. However, in the text, the word asymptomatic doesn't appear, but it does say without any symptoms. Without any symptoms is simply a synonym for the word asymptomatic. So the answer to question number four is A. Question number five, compression therapy reduces the caliber of the superficial veins in the leg. And the keyword here is compression therapy. This keyword appears in text D. So the answer to number five is D. Number six, the importance of keeping legs elevated. Keyword here is elevated legs. And this keyword appears in text C. So the answer to question number six is C. Question number seven is about the nursing interventions. Keyword here being nursing interventions, which appears in text D. So the answer to number seven is D. Let's look at questions eight to 14. Answer each question eight to 14 with a word or short phrase from one of the texts. Each answer may include words, numbers, or both. Your answers should be correctly spelled. So that is something to keep a note of. The answers should be correctly spelled since the spellings will be given in the text. Question eight, what is the root of administration of heparin? Well, here the keyword is heparin and we know that it appears in text C. So, and the root of administration is given as SC or IV. So the answer to number eight is SC or IV. Question number nine, in which part of the body does DVT normally occur? Here, the keyword given is part of the body. This can be found in text A, where it says deep vein thrombosis occurs when a blood clot forms in one or more of the deep veins in the body, usually in the legs. So the answer to number nine is legs. Question number 10 is, when is vena cava filler used? Here, the keywords are vena cava filler, which can be found in text B. A vena cava filler may be placed at the time of thrombectomy. So the answer to number 10 is thrombectomy. Be careful that the spelling is correct. Number 11, which management is preferred for DVT if anticoagulant or thrombolytic therapy is contraindicated? Here, the keyword is anticoagulant or thrombolytic therapy. This is found in text B. And endovascular management is necessary for DVT when anticoagulant or thrombolytic therapy is contraindicated. So the answer to question number 11 is endovascular management. Question number 12, which is the term used to describe the massive iliofemoral venous thrombosis? Here, the obvious keyword is iliofemoral venous thrombosis. This is found in text B. 
where is given phlegmacia cerulea dolens, also called massive iliofemoral venous thrombosis. So the answer to number 12 is phlegmacia cerulea dolens. Number 13, which symptoms usually occurs late in DVT? Here, the keyword is symptom, and that is provided in text B. Tenderness, which usually occurs later, is provided by inflammation of the vein wall. So the answer to number 13 is tenderness. Number 14, DVT is part of a condition called, so here, the keyword is part of a condition. And that is very clearly stated in text A. Deep vein thrombosis is a part of a condition called venous thromboembolism. So the answer to number 14 is venous thromboembolism. Now let's look at questions 15 to 20. Complete each of the sentences 15 to 20 with a word or short phrase from one of the texts. Each answer may include words, numbers, or both. Your answers should be correctly spelled. Question 15. A major problem is associated with recognizing DVT is that the symptoms and signs are. So here, the keywords are signs and symptoms, and we will find the exact same sentence in text B. And there the missing word is non-specific. So the answer to question 15 is non-specific. Question number 16, tenderness, which usually occurs later, is produced by blank of the vein wall. Here, tenderness is the keyword, and we've seen this before in text B. And similarly to question 15, the same sentence is repeated here. Tenderness, which usually occurs later, is produced by inflammation of the vein wall. So the answer to number 16 is inflammation. Question number 17. In some cases, signs and symptoms of a blank are the first indication. Here, even though the same keyword as question 15 appears, signs and symptoms, here we have another one, first indication, which we can find in text B. Signs and symptoms of a pulmonary embolus are the first indication. So the answer to number 17 is pulmonary embolus. Number 18, first PPT check is dash hours after starting infusion. So here the keyword is PPT check, which we've seen in the table given in text C, and where it clearly states six hours. So the answer to number 18 is six hours. Number 19, 5,000 units IV bolus, then continued infusion of blank units per hour. Here, the keyword we can see is units per hour, which was once again given in text C, 1,300 units per hour. So the answer to number 19 is 1,300. The last question, the patient should be aware of periodic blood tests, which are necessary to determine if a chart, if a change in blank or dosage is required. Here, the keyword is periodic blood tests, which we can find in text C. And the answer is medication. With that, we've come to the end of today's lesson. If you have any questions or doubts, please leave a comment. Thank you.